Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles, and today's the video you guys have been waiting for is the room tour. I've been planning this room tour since like early last spring 2020 because I built these enclosures that are next to me, and we were gonna do a room tour after. But then I started upgrading more enclosures, and they were supposed to be here and done by December, so we were gonna start Hurtmas with a room tour. And then as you guys know, the enclosures weren't here until halfway through December. So then it turned into a New Year's room tour. Then I need to clean and organize, and I ended up redoing a couple of enclosures this past week. So, today's the day. Finally happening, room tour. So for those of you that are new, I'll give you a little background information. I graduated college, I moved away, I worked at a zoo. That life ended up not working out as planned. I moved back home. I got a really good job offer. I'm a skating coach, so it just was best for me to move back home. To save money so I can save it for house, I moved back into my parents' house. But I didn't get to move back into my old bedroom because my sister moved into my bedroom. So I get her old bedroom, which is smaller. So people always ask me, how do you fit all of your animals into that one bedroom? And I haven't shown you guys really, other than like, when I first, first, first moved back in, we did a room tour, but I haven't done one since then, and that was well over a year ago. So today we're gonna be looking at how I live in a bedroom with 25 animals comfortably. So to start off, here's a wild muppet just kind of roaming the room. <laughs> so anyway, here's the door. I usually have a calendar here, but I need to get a new one. And then I've got my feeding chart, just when everyone eats, when they have their supplements. I actually need to finish filling it out. Mirror, work clothes, muppet. And then we look over here. So this is the first set of enclosures. When you first walk in the room, they're behind the door. So up here we have the African fat tail enclosure. Some plants up here that I need to work on taking better care of. Some sheds, this awesome palm leaf artwork thing that I got from Ollie's. Um, anyway, moving down, then we got my Colombian rainbow boa enclosure for Calypso. One of the last videos I did was putting this together, so go check that out. And then we move down and we've got Kronk. Oh, and he's actually out right now. So Kronk is my Doom Rolls boa. And once we have a house, he's one of the first animals I'm going to upgrade. I hate, hate, hate this enclosure for him because he's getting so big. And yeah, 
I'm not a fan. So he'll be getting a much bigger enclosure once I have a house. Bye, Kronk. And then we move down, and we've got my blue tongue escape enclosure. So, so it's a little different from when I first set it up because now I've got these big plants in here that are hopefully going to be skink proof, but yeah. So then if we come over to the side of it, we've got my TV. And then we've got my fun little shelf here. So I have this little snake from Sip Reptiles on Instagram. Her name's Taylor, super, super awesome girl. Gorgeous reptile room, go check it out. But she made this little snake and sent it to me. I think it's so cute. It's an amazing piece of artwork from Lissa's Lizards of me and May, and of course, Lissa. Um, some of my absolute favorite people in the whole entire world. So definitely go subscribe to their channels and follow them on Instagram. And then we have my gator skull that I just got this week because treat yourself from Argama Arts. So amazing. So, so worth the investment. I'm obsessed with it. My elephant painted jar with some of my goodies from the zoo, such as peacock feathers, porcupine quills, um, various other feathers and sheds and whatnot. And then my wood burning that one of my coworkers from the zoo actually made for me um, of Arcadius. So that, oh, and then on the side here, we've got my artwork. So as you guys know, I'm obsessed with reptile artwork. I have tons of it, but I don't have tons of room to display it. So we put some of my favorites over here. So um, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one down here are from Adeline Robinson. Um, so amazing. Just go check her out because she's got tons of awesome, awesome, awesome pieces of artwork. Um, this is actually a bookmark that Trisha from Reptilian Garden sent me because she knows I love hog noses. We've got this super, super cute piece from Cat Scales um, on Etsy. Definitely go check her out and on Twitter and on Instagram. And then lastly, this piece from V Steiner or Veronica Steiner. She is an amazing artist. You'll see another piece from her in my room in a little bit. Love, love, love her so much. And then we've got all the cords, but we're just going to ignore that. My basket of randomness over here now. So, reminder, we walked in the door. Here's this stack of enclosures here. And then you turn and there's more over here. So this is the arboreal shelf. So we have my crested geckos which you would have seen the upgrade in one of the last videos, or not the upgrade, but the um, remodels in one of the last videos. And Percy, my Cuban night and all, you can see him up there. So all three of these guys do have plans for bigger enclosures. I don't like these sizes anymore for them. Now that I've upgraded a bunch of animals, these just seem too small. So they will be getting bigger enclosures in the future. Moving down, we have my ball pythons. So this one is Snicket, my banana ball python, who I believe is over here in this little cave. There he is. Hey, Snicket. And then down here we have Kalua. Kalua is my champagne paradox. And Kalua is usually over here. Yep, you can see him right there. There he is. So eventually, Kalua and maybe Snicket will have an enclosure this size. So 4 by 2 by 18. Um, but for now, they are in these that are about the size of a 40 gallon Exoterra. And then over here, we have my Ketchy. If you guys have a reptile room and naturalistic enclosures or bioactive enclosures, you need one of these. These catch all the little fungus gnats. I just emptied it and put a new sticky thing in today. It works amazingly. I don't know where I'd be without this thing. It's my favorite thing that I have. And then we've got little snakes down here. So down here is Rumpel, my tricolored hognose. 
So this was a recent setup that you guys saw on my channel. And then over here we have Tootsie, my Kenyan sand boa. You may remember that she did have a background. I actually took it out because she kept hiding behind it and not coming out for feeding. So she lost her background to privileges. Okay, so there's that shelf. Oh, over here I do have a misting system. It's this big, big thing over here. Right now it's just connected to Percy's, but I want to get it connected to the geckos as well. And then we come over here. And this is the shelf you guys all know. It's the big shelf that I've had for like ever. So starting down here, we have these shelves that have some random stuff. I have to organize them clearly. Um, on top we have my supplements in these cute little jars that may do some maybe for Christmas 2019. So cute. My springtails, my reptisafe, my spoon for gecko food. And then we just have foods and supplements in here random reptile electronic -y things in here so like my temperature gun my scale stuff like that and then electronics down there so timers headphones whatever else of course my step ladder because you'll notice here in a second i've got a lot of tall things in here and i need a step ladder okay muppets enclosure as you can see she's knocked over a bunch of stuff so i have my cleaning bucket that's collapsible so it's brilliant watering thing so I can easily water or change waters some substrate so Muppets enclosure I'm not thrilled about it um, obviously tegus are big animals and they need big enclosures ideally I wanted to grow tent or enclosure that fit under this whole bottom shelf in my mind when I saw the measurements or the dimensions it did and then come to find out it's a lot shorter and smaller than I had envisioned in my brain um, so we're just making it work for now. Obviously, the big, the two big snakes and the two big lizards will get new enclosures when I move. But we made it work. So she actually has this loft up here that we built to utilize more space. So down here is just like her basking and her water, and then up here is her loft. So she just has her bed and her towel that she can curl up in. So the good news is she sleeps a lot right now with it being winter. So the lack of space doesn't isn't really that much of a problem. And in summer, I take her out every day and she has an outdoor enclosure. So where'd you go? She's under the bed, I can hear. Um, but yeah, so when I'm home and my room is clean, I do just leave the door open so she can come in and out if she wants. Um, Cause then she's got lots of space. Okay, so moving up, we've got Zero, my milk snake, in this one. I need to re-plug these in somewhere so this cord isn't hanging down and the lights actually reach over the plants. But there's Zero's. Next to him, we have my Chinese water dragon. So I need to pull this off because it was Phoenix's enclosure and now it's not. So yes, this is the water dragon enclosure. He's looking at me like I'm going to eat him. He's way up here. I don't know if you guys can see him very well. Oh, hi. Can I help you? Just don't poop anywhere. So he's way up here. There he is. <laughs> he looks terrified. Poor thing. And then up here, this is my other big snake. This is Samoa, my boa. Is she back in her hide over there? Yeah, she is. You can see her back here. So again, not an enclosure I love since she is getting bigger. I know a lot of people keep big snakes in enclosures like this. I don't like it. Um, I have plans for like a six by three by three or four, something along there. I keep changing my mind on how big I want the enclosures to be, but she will have bigger ones or a bigger enclosure. 
And then we just have random supplies up here, lamps, lights, etc, etc. Moving over. So right now it's empty, but these boxes actually have more of these. So this is just a temperature thing. It comes with three external ones that you can put in enclosures. And then up here it tells you your bedroom. So like these three are in different enclosures. So I can just glance over here and see the humidity and the temperature and then compare it to my bedroom. Um, so I could get two more sets that I need to put in enclosures still. My nightstand, um, this gorgeous painting, or not painting, but this piece of artwork from um, Medusa. She gave it to me for Christmas this year of Percy. So it was from the art giveaway I did on Instagram, but since she was sending me stuff for Christmas anyway, um, she just shipped it with that stuff. What? Hi. Why are you hanging around my feet? Okay, so... Oh, and I skipped this part. So we have my um, arrow garden up here where I'm growing different greens and whatnot for my animals. So, super awesome. It does have colored greens, bok choy, um, I think turnip is the other one. So, it does have reptile safe greens. So, super awesome, excited. Yay! My tong jar. So this is actually the first one I ever made. It was just kind of messing around for an idea for my shop. Um, so if you don't know, I do an Etsy shop called Herpetology. I actually sold these tong jars in the shop. They're one of my best sellers. Um, again, this is the first one I ever made, so it's a little rough. Uh, I don't currently have any right now because they are a lot of work and I just needed to take a break from them. But I do have these tong jars. I have some small ones right now, actually, in the shop. Okay. Oh, and she put herself back in her enclosure. <laughs> okay, so moving on. We've got my bed. And then we have this side of the room. So this side of the room is the main reason I need a step ladder. So we'll just start over here. We got my closet, my reptile mom purses because I'm obsessed with reptile anything. My um baby alligator painting from I think Topeka, maybe. And then this I'm obsessed with. So this is my painting done by Casper the Alligator down at the Everglades Outpost with Chris and Gabby. You guys probably see them all over Instagram and they have YouTube. So you guys probably definitely know who they are, but I'm obsessed with this. We have all my filming equipment over here. So tripods, ring light, um, like a background stand thing. So all that's just shoved in that corner. It's my small rack. We have Penelope, my Western hog nose. I don't know if we'll be able to see her. I don't really know where she hides. She keeps changing it up on me. So I don't see her right now. But if you want to see Penelope, go follow me on Instagram. Okay, down here we have Queso, my leopard gecko, whose tail was just sticking out. She's under her hide back here. I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. Now you can kind of see her tail. She hides out under there. So yeah, that's my leopard gecko enclosure. And then we have Tinsel, my sunbeam snake, and I did a check on her this morning, so I actually took video, so I'll put that in right now. Yeah. Gross. And then we've got my dubia roaches right there. Spray bottle. I move over to Arcadius, my iguana. 
So like I said earlier, um, the big lizards are going to be getting new enclosures when I move. That means him. Even though he's not that big, he's pretty stunted. Um, this enclosure, keep in mind, I say all the time, was meant to travel to and from college. Okay, I got him when he was very little and it was my last two years of college. And he had all his metabolic bone disease issues, so he is stunted. So this enclosure was meant to be temporary. It was meant to just travel to and from college because I went five hours away, so it had to fit in a car and whatnot. So it is no longer, it's not permanent. This was a travel enclosure. So now he's gonna need a permanent one. Mr. Humidifier. Mealworms, superworms, isopods. And then we move over here. So down here we have my mini fridge with animal food. So greens and fruits and veggies, randomness, more randomness, enclosures. So at the bottom, we have Tansy, my blue tongue, or my blue tongue skink, my bearded dragon. Where are you? Oh, there she is. She's up there. So this is her enclosure. And then we've got Crikey, my jeweled Lacerda, who's hanging out back here. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing? You come say hi? You comfy? <laughs> so that is his. So that is his enclosure. And then we've got my Euromastix Chalupa. This is her enclosure. You can see her tail sticking out right there. I tried to clean the glass, but she just digs around so much and then gets all dirty. But yeah, that's her enclosure. You'll notice some of them have these on here, um, just like these information cards from Cloud Forest Design on Instagram. Super awesome. And up top we have Phoenix, my corn snake. And then this past summer we did lose my chameleon Eugene, so I put this photo up. Um, this is again from Veronica Steiner, B Steiner on Instagram. Um, so this is kind of Eugene's spot in the room since he's no longer with us. And that's my room. So now you guys have finally seen my room. I know you guys have been waiting forever. So you can see how I live in here with 25 animals. And yeah, so let me know what your favorite part of the room was in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the fun videos that I've been doing and will continue doing. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you for the next video. Bye!